Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another uh, tutorial. Um, <laughs> this could be GTA or LSPDFR. Um, this one is by request. Uh, I don't have my little uh, request uh, capture that I throw up on the screen because uh, CJ had asked me over the phone if I could do a tutorial on how to use the Rockstar Editor. Now, disclaimer. I am not a professional by any means with the Rockstar Editor. I know the basics. Just like when I did my OBS uh, tutorial, I know the bare basics. There's so many more options that this Rockstar Editor does. But if you want to add a little bit of Rockstar Editor into your patrols, uh, some people like to maybe use the Rockstar Editor when they're pulling a car over or if they're in a chase. You know, just adding little bits of Rockstar Editor here and there. I like to use it for my YouTube shorts. Um, so if that's something you want to do, check out this video. And, uh, you know, let's uh, let's get to it. Again, I will show you the bare basics on how to do it. We do have this uh, Lamborghini Huracan um, for this particular video. And let's go ahead and jump inside this car. Now... Uh, first thing, obviously, that you want to do is you want to record. Um, first, I'm going to go to my Rockstar Editor, and I'm going to go to Clip Management, right? And I am going to go in here, and I am going to mark these. These are all old clips. As you can see, these are clips from my uh, YouTube short that I just posted with the Mercedes-Benz. So that's what these clips are, right? So we're going to get those, and then we're going to mark for delete, and we're going to delete them. We want to start with a fresh uh, uh, Rockstar Editor clip management, okay? Our clip management is completely empty. All right, so the F1 button on your keyboard, I believe that is the button that will start your Rockstar recording. Now, if you look above the mini-map on the bottom left-hand corner, uh, you can use your F1 button, or I use a controller. So on controller, it's specifically the Xbox controller, it's gonna be D-pad down and the A button. All right, D-pad down first, and then you'll see it brings that up, and then you hit A to start recording. Now, when recording, you cannot go to first person view. Rockstar Editor will not record, or it'll record, but it will not let you edit it if you are in first person view. Okay, you don't need to go to first person view because you can always make your own first person view in the Rockstar Editor. So right now it is recording. You can see it recording and it will continuously record. Your recorded clips have to be at least three seconds in order for Rockstar to save it. If it's not, it will not save your clip. So if you record something for two seconds and you stop recording, again, you hold down and you can hit A to save recording. You can hit B to cancel the whole entire recording. We're going to cancel it, right? Because we don't want to save that because I want to start new. All right. So we're going to click down in an A. And let's just have some fun right here on the on the uh, racetrack. We're going to do some, let's do some donuts here. All right. We're going to do some donuts. And let's do, we're going to fly down to the end of this runway and we're going to try to drift it y'all let's see if we can drift it ah uh, looked like it started off like it was going to be good right so we're just going to play around and we're just going to let it record just let it record oh god all right let's do this Let's do a little bit of that. Now we're just, you know, we're just bullshitting. Now this is where you would want to make your movie. You got to think about what you want to do before you do it. Okay. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you want to make a cool racing video, then you're going to want to do some drifts because you know, you're going to want to recruit. You're going to want to uh, edit those drifts inside the Rockstar editor. Okay. Um, I actually want to do like a, I, right now we're going to end it with like, we want, I want to flip this. We're going to flip this car. We're going to flip it. Yeah, that was a nice little one there. All right, let's go. And flip it. 
Boom. Oh, yes. That was good. All right, and once that is done recording, you see it's saving right there. Now watch, now that it's recording, if I stop it, oh, well, it did go over three seconds. All right, so we have our recorded clips, right? So now here's what we want to do. Let's go into, let's go to Rockstar, all right? And we're gonna go to create new project. Are you sure? Yep, we are sure. Add clip. Now, clips by date, you can do it. And it usually highlights the last clip recorded. So if you want to start from the beginning, just go to the very bottom clip, all right? That one is going to be this one right here. So let's go ahead and click that. This is your time bar, all right? It's automatically going to start you at the beginning of the time bar. All right, so let's click that. All right, edit this clip. Yep. All right, and it brings us right in here. Now, you got cameras, okay? Cam let's go. We're going to go through the options here. You got cameras. All right, and when you go into cameras, you got different types, okay? You got preset front, preset rear, which is like a game camera, right, left, uh, and overhead. And then you got the game cam, which pretty much looks like the rear cam, okay? Um, the free camera is the awesome one, okay? This thing is awesome. Once you click free cram, free cram, free cram, once you click free camera, you can either look at the target, and I'll show you what I mean. You can move with it, blend mode, shake, and edit, okay? Now, edit means you want to put that camera where you want it. So, before you do anything, you can move your right joystick uh, to the right to kind of preview your screen. So, if we're doing donuts here, let's see. All right, so we see the car is going to fly by right there, all right? So, we're going to go to cameras. We're going to go to free camera and edit camera. Let's slide it right here. And let's bring it down. And as you can see, down in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll give you, it'll tell you the controls. All right? So, let's bring it down. And we want to go to about right here. Right? Okay. And once you get it where you want it, hit your back button. All right? And now, you can, you can leave it here. So that if you move your D, if you move your right joystick to the right and play it, you'll see the car goes right by the screen like that, right? Now let's say we want to add uh, a shake right there, or if we click cameras, we can go to look at target. All right, if we look at the target and select player, and then we play it, you'll see the car will go by, and then the camera will continue to watch the target. All right, let's go back to this spot right here. Go to cameras. Go to free camera select none on that and select player with move with camera so now the camera will stay this distance away from the car but it will move now you have this flexible right if you go with it it you're gonna see the camera will kind of shake around in that um, but if you go to move with player move with target and select player and then go to rigid that camera will pretty much stay right it'll focus so if i'm focused on the front end of that car that camera is going to stay on the front end of that car again if i go to free camera move with target and select player and then switch this back to flexible you'll see it will just stay looking at the car but the car can move and it'll look at different parts of the car right okay so that's pretty cool now let's say we want to do free camera we don't want it we don't want it to look at anything we don't want it to move with anything but we are going to add this cool shake effect all right so we are going to edit that camera we're going to make sure we're right down here low where we want to be all right and let's go ahead and move this slightly till it gets to about right there all right you're going to go to cameras go to free camera and go to shake this is where you can add shake this is like a handheld camera this is if you're drunk it'll add blurriness this is ground vibration so this is good, like let's say you've got a, a quote-unquote camera on the uh, landing gear of a plane and it's, it's landing on the runway. Now it's rolling down the runway. you got air turbulence, okay? Then you got explosion. I like the explosion because this makes the illusion that as that Lamborghini drifted by, it just shook that camera, if not hit it, right? And once you do explosion, you can change the intensity of that explosion. See that? All the way up to 10. That's a huge explosion. That's probably too much. 
Um, so we're gonna just stick it with five. And then you got the shake speed, which will go all the way up to 200. Yeah, just keep that at 100. All right, so once you do that, you're just gonna go forward just a tad, right? Just a tad. And then you wanna get rid of that shake because that shake will stay there. All right, so let's get rid of that shake. So now, if we go back, you'll see it. Well, you didn't see it there, but it trust me, it's there. You'll see it when you render the video. Sorry about that. I just, I, uh, let's see here. Let's remove that one. There we go. Hey, you see how that camera shook now? Because we added that shake in there. So now this car's coming. Boom, shake. It's absolutely awesome, right? All right, so, um, and now th this free camera is your friend okay believe me go to free camera click edit again now you can move it around so right here we were doing donuts right so if we want to we can now we can do an inside view you can go inside the car right and what you would do if you're inside the car if you want to do an inside see this is what i mean by first person view you can make your own first person view right you can do it right here you can go out to the hood of the car so it looks like you're like like a dash cam. You could do dash cam. You can make your own dash cam. Um, but let's say we got a camera mounted inside the car, like right here, and we want to record ourselves doing these donuts here, right? So we're gonna go free cam. We're not gonna look at target, but we're gonna move with the target. All right. So we're gonna we want the camera to stay where we have it set, right? Makes sense. So we want to move with the target. Also. If this is a fixed camera that you're trying to achieve, you want to go to rigid. Don't forget to go to rigid, right? And that's it. Now, if we use our, D, our joystick and move it to the right, you'll see the camera will start just, your camera will stay right there as you're going about in the car. Now, as you're making these changes, Rockstar, oops, no, we don't want to do that. Rockstar is saving it right down there in that timeline. You can see that Rockstar is saving it right there in that timeline. You see that down there? So now we wanna move this, right? And now we wanna do a awesome fucking flyby because this car was hauling ass, right? So, uh, is this all the way down to the ground? Yes, all right. Now here we go. Now we want we wanna do a flyby on this car so what we're going to do is we're going to keep the camera free cam. We're going to go look at target, which is player, and it'll select your car. Whatever target you're looking at, it'll have a blue arrow. You see the blue arrow above the car? Um, now, all you want to do is just hold that, that, that joystick. Right? And if you were closer, you could do the shake effect again. Okay? Um, and... Now, let's go to free camera, edit, and look at that. We can now do this right here where you're doing, actually, that's not, that's not a good, we don't want to look at anything. Now we want to edit this camera. Oh gosh, it's going to take us forever to get down there. Come on. See, and, the, and this is what's cool about this is you can, like, let's say you want to focus on this rock, right? And you got the camera right here. Now, we can do look at target. Actually, no, let's not look at target. Let's look right here. What we're going to do is we're going to hold our right joystick again so that car comes in to focus. Now, we can have it now what we can do is we can go to camera and we can edit camera move it over go to blend mode and have linear or smooth set it to smooth and here's what we want to do now now we want to look at the target all right and then boom there we go so now it's going to look at that target as it's flying by now when you are done 
and we export this and you put it in your editor that you can add your own Lamborghini sounds of, of, a, of a Lamborghini flying by you can add any sounds you want it's it's your editor you know how to work your editor right um, so a camera done we can turn this off and turn that off and now let's take a look and see what we got so you see it go right there yeah definitely wasn't supposed to do oh that was pretty cool though i like that but again all this can be changed in your editor right oh that, thing, that car was flying all right so back to cameras free camera and let's go ahead and click back back do you want to save your changes yes um let's go back again add clip now we can go up okay we want to go to this clip right here and actually no we don't want this clip let's go back add clip we want this clip but we want to go all the way to the end now when you select your next clip don't forget to go to the end of that timeline of the first one that you just did okay select it put it in there are you sure you want to edit this clip yes okay and we're just gonna we're gonna try to there we go because we want to we want to do this accident we're gonna get a very cool scene in this accident all right so we're gonna start it off with uh free mode edit camera let's put this camera let's put it like right here okay again if you want it to stay with the car, you're going to select move and then rigid. Okay. Cause we're, it's like a pretend it's a GoPro that's mounted to the side of this car. All right. We're going to go and we hit the ramp and now the car is moving, 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 moving. And it hits right. We'll stop it right there. Let's go to cameras. We don't want to move with target anymore. We want to edit the camera. Now let's go inside the car right here. Oh, this is going to be pretty badass, y'all. All right. This is going to be pretty badass. All right. So, again, now that we move the camera, we want to move with target. Rigid. Now you're going to see, boom, there's the car flipping. All right. And we'll stop it right there. Cameras, free camera. We want to go to none, none. Go to edit. And then let's move it outside of the car. And... Let's just preview and see where which where exactly is this car gonna go and land. So, boom, landed right there, damn near where I am. All right, so we can go, let's just hit our L1 so we can go to the last uh, uh, camera point and go to cameras, free camera, edit, and let's go down because it looks like the car hits right about here. So let's go to this. Now again, here comes the car, boom. All right, it hits. Now let's go to cameras. Let's go to shake. Now we can kind of do a bigger one because now that was kind of a, a hard hit, right? And we're going to set that there. And then we go forward. And we're going to turn that off. Now we can turn the shake off just like that. And free camera, edit. And let's turn around. And now we can just kind of watch it. Now we could just kind of, if we want to, we could just like watch it flip right here, right? And we could just let it roll just normally. No, let's go. Let's bring the camera up a little bit. Or we can go up high. We could watch it up high too. You could set this camera wherever your heart desires. Um, let's move with target or let's just look at the target. And then there it goes. And then it's just going to flip. And it's going to end right there. And now let's kind of put a camera. Let's see where that door slides and stops. And that door is going to stop right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to cameras. Stop looking at player. Go to edit. And that door stopped right about here, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go right here. And you are now going to see that door kind of slide over. There it is. And it stops. And we want to save it. All right. And let's go ahead and add clip. 
uh, clips by date. We're gonna add this one one more time because I just want to make sure that I went over everything with y'all. Okay, I just want to make sure I went over everything with y'all. Okay, so now let's say you got a camera and you know you got your free camera set up, right? Just like this, and we want to uh, look at target and move with target. Go to rigid. Okay, and we're just going to hit your, now once you have these set up, you can hit your back button. Now you can go to effects. Effects is pretty cool. These are your filters, okay? They've got Albuquerque, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Gonzo, which will trip you out. Uh, Cat Cathode, right? It's almost like a, a in color CCTV. Touch of Evil, which is pretty sweet. Um, Normandy, Emulsion, Inferno, Purple Haze, uh, Sentinel. Uh, this is really, really, oof, that made me want to throw up. Glacial, super cool black and white. Night Moves, look at this one right here. And then once you do it, you can do your video just like this. You can change certain aspects of your video, okay? Just like that. Super cool, man. Now, let's say, okay, so let's hit the X button, go back to effects. Uh, then there's Nueva Esperanza, Hey Girl, Nostalgia, Graveyard Shift, Tel Aviv, Headroom, that's pretty cool, High Country, uh, Thermoply, Isle 7, Game Over, Divinity, which is insane, Chop, Killer Clowns, and black now let's say let's go to no filter real quick right and let's just go ahead and we're gonna keep going with this now let's say that down here on the runway there is a uh, let's go to camera we're gonna uh, deselect these go to none anytime you want to edit your camera put look at target and move with target to none okay then you want to edit it because then you can set it wherever you want and then reset those up I mean, hell, you can even have it so that the bird is in your shot, you know? Like, as you're recording, the bird goes flying by. Watch, let's check this out. All right, so here we go. And there's the bird. You see the bird just kind of fly by. Let me let me bring this down a little more. Go right about there. And we're going to have that bird coming right at us. Hopefully, we're set up in a good spot. And there goes the bird <laughs> but let's say you want to do let's say you're driving in the city right um and there's a lot of stores a lot of uh cameras that are out in the sidewalk in the city so let's say you got this car flying down the road let's say there's a security camera on a pole out here you know airports do have them right you would set this up kind of high and set it up right there right and you're gonna go to, uh, you hit your back button so you can go to effects. And let's go to that aisle seven. There it is right there. So now here's your, your, your security cam, boom. You caught the car going by, that's your security cam. Um, let's see here. Let's go to effects and take that back to none. All right, then you got audio. Um, which will just give you sound effects, crashes. Let's see, can I play the audio? Right trigger. No. How do I play the audio? You know what? I've never even tried the audio effects. Large crash. I don't even know how to play it. I don't know how to play it, y'all. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, I won't play it. Huh. But that's cool. I'm going to try to add that there. Yeah, it won't let me. Okay. So, I mean, that, you know... Oh, right, 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 right. Let's say... Okay, so... That is pretty much the, the basics of these right here. Okay? All these different camera mounts and stuff like that. Now, let's say... Let me go back to this. Let's say this shot right here, we want to make this our thumbnail. What you're going to do 
is or you, you have a different you have a different shot that you want to do for your thumbnail you're going to go to cameras edit camera and you're going to make it all the way down to this car oh sorry about that y'all i just had just checking my phone while the camera's on its way over there okay Sorry about this, everybody. There we go. All right, so here we go. We want, you know, you can put the car anywhere you want. Set your weather up through Simple Trainer however you want. Um, and now let's say we want to get a, this is what we want our, you know, we want our screenshot to be this right here. It's got the Lamborghini logo in it kind of got the cool wheels you can see the suspension that's our that's the that's the thumbnail we want right this is what you're going to do you're simply just going to hit your r3 which is your push in your right joystick that's going to remove everything on your screen everything and then you're just simply going to hit f12 there's your thumbnail you can literally set this thumbnail up this camera up for any part of your thumbnail you know, you want, look at his eyes, Jesus, oh my gosh. You know, if you want that to be your thumbnail, you set it there, hit your R3, and hit your F12. You know, you want it to be the dash or, you know, the steering wheel, anything. It could be the back, like that. If you had flames coming out, hit your R3, get rid of all the borders, hit your, hit your F12. And that is it. So now, you're done. Your video's done. We want to export that video. You're going to go out. You're going to save everything. Click back. Now we want to save your project. Always save your project. Okay. You can click save as. And you can just simply name it uh, Lambo. Right. You can name it Lambo. Once you do that, go to export. You're going to want 60 FPS. And simply just export it. It'll tell you what the export name you want. Select Lambo. Are you sure? Yep. And then you're going to sit here and well, not now I'll edit this out, but you're going to, you're going to sit here and have to watch your video that you just made in slow motion. And down at the bottom, right, it'll show you your exporting progress. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Uh, and I'll be right back with y'all as soon as this is done exporting. Okay. So once your video is done exporting, um, it'll tell you success, your video, whatever you named it, has successfully exported. Um, so you can hit OK. And then we can go back, and now we can go to Exit. Uh, yes, I'm sure. And let's just go to Quit Game. Now, this part is very, very important, okay? When you export a video, it does not go to your uh, videos folder. It doesn't go to your desktop where it's easily accessible. There is a super crazy pathway that you have to go through to get to your video. All right, so here's what you wanna do. You wanna bring up your file explorer and you wanna go to your disk drive, your main disk drive, so click that. And then you're gonna go to uh, users, double click it, and go to your main, whatever your main uh, user folder is, double click that. Now, right here where it says, you can see app data, and you can see how it's kind of unhighlighted. It, it looks faded out. Same with Microsoft um, Edge backups. I think if you go to view, yeah, if you go to view here, check hidden items. See, if I uncheck that, the app data folder goes away. So make sure you go to view and you click hidden items, and you want to go to app data. Double click that, and go to local. And then you want to scroll down and go to Rockstar. Okay, once you get to this point, it's pretty easy. You want to go to GTA 5, Videos, Rendered. All right, and there's our video right there. Now, let's drag that to the desktop. And we can exit out of our file explorer. And now we have our video right here. So we can double click it. And you can see it's... There's our video that we, um, that we edited, right? And it's got the sounds. I love how you can... 
I would see right there. I would add a, a Lamborghini like flyby sound. Totally. Now there's going to be a lot of dead space because it was a while before we went and did the next uh, camera angle. But any camera angle that we put in ourselves will be there, right? So let's take a look at it now. I believe this is the one that we just we did because we wanted to do the crash. So we're gonna it's gonna follow the car around. All right, here comes the crash. Oh, maybe not. Not yet. Ah, now comes the crash. And there's the crash. There's the shake. See how cool that is? So, it, again, it's the basics of Rockstar Editor. Oh, there's the sound effect that we added. Oh, that's so cool. I've never used the audio. See, folks, I told you. There's a lot of, with this Rockstar Editor that I have never even used yet. So, we just heard the audio effects that we put in, but I wasn't sure that it even put it in there. There's the bird. And there's our security cam footage. So it's super cool, right? So now that you have it to now that you have it set to your desktop, now you can, you know, you can open up your your editor and uh, you know you could drag it right in and it'll add it. And now you can edit through your video. Um, and obviously, and you know, a lot of people's editors have uh, Where's the accident? Where's the accident? Where the car flips. It's actually like right here, right? So let's go ahead and play it right here. So, you know, if I start the clip here and we're gonna bring that and then we want it to go like that, but then this part right here um actually let's just do the whole thing all right and let's select that and we'll drag it down now obviously in your editor you can change the clip speed if you want it to go slow-mo you know all of that stuff you can add your effects in any sounds you may have like a real lamborghini engine sound flyby you can add that sound effect if you can find it on the internet the possibilities are endless or just like my my short that i just posted you can just have no game sounds and just put a song over the whole video. Um, <laughs> that is, yeah, we want to discard that. We're not going to save that. And we're going to delete that. That is it, folks. <laughs> uh, CJ, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, for those of you out there that are like masters at the Rockstar Editor that might feel uh, compelled to uh, leave me a remark saying that I'm a noob, don't worry. I already know I am. Um, I said it in the beginning of the video, I am by no means an expert at Rockstar Editor. Um, this is just a simple basic on how to get started using Rockstar Editor. And the more you use it, the more familiar you become with it, and the better you will get at it and try out. I'm definitely going to try out those audio um, effects that I didn't know about. I'm definitely going to try those. Um, so, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial, CJ. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you're new here and you like what you saw, support your boy by hitting that subscribe button and smash the shit out of that like button. The more likes we get, the more people this video can help out. And that would just be greatly, greatly appreciated. You all are absolutely amazing. Number one in my book. We are all Jeffrey Gamers. Let's get big together, folks. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.